Hi and welcome back to It's a Miracle Beauty. My name is Brandy and I am a consumer based beauty review channel. I do do makeup minutes on Monday and full face Fridays on Friday and then Wednesday is an alternate day that I just kind of do things like this. So today is the Venice Fling by Bailey Sarian. It does look like this. And I did make this look with this palette. This palette did work very well. It is with the State Cosmetics. It blended really well. I was able to use quite a few different shades and they didn't muddy. Like I just think it was a really good palette. So let's get started so I can show you how I came up with this look. So as you saw from the intro on the title, I am going to be doing Bailey Sarian's Venice Fling. Let's look like this. And the inside does look like this. So I think I'm going to do a version of a sunset with a cut crease. I think that's what I'm going to do. I've been kind of looking at the palette and the purple and the red, they're called roller skates and puppy love these two. They are freaking gorgeous. However, I really want to use that green. So I think what I'm going to do is do kind of a red and orange radiant and then put yellow in my crease. I'm just grabbing kind of a, it's fluffy, but it's not a big fluffy. And I am going to take this reddish orange shade called bonfire and I'm going to put that in my crease. So that is my transition. I'm now going to take a different brush. I am going to deepen that transition. I think I'm going to grab Rose Tattoo. It's right here. They're blending really easy. I've never tried Estates eyeshadows. I've only had other stuff by them. Like I think the one I had for the longest time from Ipsy was like a highlighter. And I've never had a problem with their formula, but I also like never went and researched it or anything else. I know they work with Ipsy a lot, so I don't know if they're like connected to Ipsy or what, but this palette's working really well. I'm having no problems with blending at all. And I'm not seeing any fallout at either so far, which we've not used any shimmers. We've only used mattes, but I don't see any fallout. So I do want to take another brush and just kind of add a little bit of the red. I don't want to go crazy with it because I want to keep the gradient. I'm going into Puppy Love right here. Now that one is a shimmer, so it looks a little funny. However, I did not want to dip into any other palettes for this look. I wanted to only use hers. So I'm bringing back that deeper orange in the actual crease. I actually think maybe this might be a satin. Yeah, it's more of a satin than a shimmer. So that is that. It does look like that. Okay, I want to do my cut crease now, so I need to grab my concealer. And all I'm going to do is draw this like this. And then look up. I am going to do one eye at a time, so I just make sure it's getting done correctly. Now I'm going into that yellow. Going back into the brush I used for the orange, I'm going to blend this out up here. I do want it to look like a gradient, so I want it to be blended really well. So that is what it looks like so far. Once I have my mascara and eyeliner running on, I think it will bring it together even more. I kind of want to do a really small amount of this purple just to deepen this top a little bit. 
This might back for backfire or it might look good. I'm not sure. Okay, I'm gonna finish my other eye and my makeup and then I will come back and show you the rest. So this is the final look. I did have zero issues blending. I was able to keep the colors distinct without having muddying. I was able to add a transition shade, or not a transition shade, an accent shade. I did add purple up in the top and instead of turning bright purple, it actually made it almost the red. So you get the yellow, the orange, and then the red. So I really am happy with this look. I think this palette did a fantastic job. I definitely am gonna try it more. I wanna do a look with the purple and the reds that are in here and maybe even the Venice Fling, this dark one because I think that would make a really cool smoky eye. And if you've ever watched Bailey Saren, you know she is the queen of smoky eyes. She is amazing. Like I swear, half the time it doesn't even feel like she's paying attention. And she comes out with these amazing looks, which I guess is that that's part of her art, that she can look like she's not paying attention while she does her other stuff. But I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, don't forget to post them down below. I hope that you will like, share, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, and I hope to see you again soon.